Good morning. Ha. Ah. Or that bread just doesn't crunch. No. You want a bite? No. Okay. Hi, everybody. If I change my mind, I'll go get myself a slice of bread. It's good bread, though. Yeah. We also have sourdough right now. It's good bread. I like this bread. Sometimes you need a sale. To convince you to buy something? To, yeah. Yeah. Because, like, I'm the type of person, if I go shopping by myself, mm -hmm. everything I buy is just, like, whatever's on sale. I guess just what I get. Like, mm. you go to the Publix. Because Publix is not a cheap grocery store. No. But, if you're buying all the stuff that's like, you know, buy one, get... Yeah. That that startled you. What I was saying is if you get the things that's like buy one, get one, which just means that you can get one at half price, yeah. then it actually is that it starts to get, yeah, it's like that's good. That's a good deal. Mm -hmm. So I just do that. Jesus. Sorry, that was 1,600 bits from Aldo512, who says, you know what this is for. I actually didn't, but mTapit has helped me. There are 16 days until Extra Life. If you, if you just, if you, sorry, if you just we pause the music and you just listen real carefully. Do you hear that? You, ah, Jesus! You know, it's funny, <laughs> because I was going to say, if you listen real carefully, you can hear Chaz screaming from Indiana. Chaz, who has the power to scare the bejesus out of me by pushing an alert through, got the last laugh there. God. <sighs> Haley. Oh, that's not many, and the snibbling doesn't have a head on the body. <laughs> Cuddle me. Come here, Keppel. Thank you, Aldo, for the reminder that there are 16 days. And then there was 1,600 bits from Shy. It says he goes to Publix to get a heart attack on sale for 16% off. Come here. So bacon? Come here. Bacon? Shy, thank you. God, that that's a way to wake up. Good morning, That's baby. certainly an option for being awake. Feet. I'm okay. Let's read some alerts, shall we? We have uh, 61 months from DC, 20 will save, 35 from Paranite, 33 from The Reload, 47 from Twitchy Toes, and a snack. Having a crazy daybreak? You need Tiny Eddie's Unknown Acid Fritters. Okay. A lot of acidity in these fritters, Eddie. What, is, what, what What's in this? Well, you know, instead of apple, it's... um. Acid. Unknown. Unknown acid. <laughs> yeah, these are these are acid fritters. I'm sorry, did you say acid? Yeah, isn't that what the people generally make? No, Eddie, that's apple. Oh, I misheard. Whoops. 1050 from Anise who says, so last year Eddie gave me blue chicken chunks for my birthday. What will I get this year? Or maybe I should ask Rad for a game to play. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope that you enjoy unknown acid fritters. What type of acid? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean, some, like depending on how watered down certain acids are, it's not like they're necessarily lethal. I mean, like, lemon is acidic. 
Yeah, it could be Citric. There you go. Citric fritter. You're loud this morning. He making lots of noises. Can you believe she said that about you? Now he's purring. Hi, buddy. You talk to him. Yeah. You have received you have received one attention unit from me. It's it's time to purr. Oh, I didn't turn the air up. Oh. I just felt the cold blast of air and I was like, mm -mm -mm. That's why I wanted him on my lap mm -mm. so badly. Is it warm enough today to actually utilize that? Not yet. <laughs> 25 months from Mr. Raichu Do, 34 months from Shiny Hunter John, 58 months from I Spy a Moose, 11 months from Brina BX, 13 from Nervous Jellyfish, 16 from That Tall Nerd, and 17 from The Let's Gamer. Thank you. Like on the feet would be great. That's what I did yesterday. When we were over there, I tucked my feet under her back. See, I can't sit like this anymore. I know. That's This is literally, this is why I'm going to physical therapy. Literally that. Because I can't sit like this. Don't do it. I'm not gonna do it, but like the where you do this crisscross. Yeah, I yeah. can't do that anymore. And that's like relatively new, within the last I don't know few months, something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I have an appointment. <laughs> it's just good bread. I know, you really like that bread. <laughs> Do it, you can't. I literally can't. It's not getting older. That's not the problem. This is like a different problem. I hope, uh, one I hope to solve. You should know soon. I should know soon. <laughs> I was not expecting the Animal Crossing music to pop in. Yeah, this is a mashup since uh, Doom, uh, Doom Eternal, and Animal Crossing: New Horizons released on the same, the same day. My birthday! It was your birthday. It was my birthday. What a good birthday that was. Mostly. <laughs> like, in hindsight, maybe it wasn't actually the best birthday. No. Sagan had just passed away and the pandemic had just started. <laughs> but, I had you, mm -hmm. and I had Animal Crossing. We had Kepi. We had Kepi. Could have been He's worse. He's so happy. Could have been worse. We also had six months from Skyfern. Skyfern, thank you. You had your hair, well, not yet. But I sure worked towards it. Speaking of, God, I can't wait to get a haircut. Saturday. I can't wait to get a haircut. I'm looking forward to it. I need, it's just a lot. It is a lot. It doesn't, the one thing about it is that it doesn't bother me like it used to, you know? Like, my entire life, it went, once my hair, like, hit my ears, I was like, and then once I grew it out, I, I don't have that anymore. It just gets bigger, so. I'm not going home for the haircut, no. I don't, I do not have time at the moment to, to get back home. And you would have to go by yourself. Yeah, Mal, Mal. Mal cannot car that long. No. Oof. It is a... That's a long... That's a long car. Mal's been having trouble just like... Car. Just going from like here to Alex and Haley's house is like... Yeah. A, a, and that's not very far and you're just like ready to be done with car. Uh-huh. Ready, ready to be done with car. Car is a lot. That's okay. Soon, Soon you... I was about to say, soon you won't have to car anymore, but no, you'll have to keep carring for like, this yeah. is America, so like the rest of your life, but um, soon it won't bother you, hopefully, as, as much. <laughs> Luffus says, uh, this music reminds me, any spooky fun Halloween plans? I feel like 
Halloween for us generally gets largely derailed because it falls around Extra Life. Yeah. Although last year, uh, Haley did do a Halloween party. So I don't know. Halloween, Tuesday's Halloween? Yeah, it falls on a Tuesday. I So for the parents or for anyone who is planning to do a, a trick-or-treat, um, does Hall does is Halloween celebrated like the Saturday, like Extra Life Saturday, or is it? Are they actually doing it on a Tuesday? Because I remember when I was a kid, sometimes when Halloween was like in the middle of the week, sometimes there would still be a lot of stuff going on that weekend. So I don't know how it's done now. It depends on the area. Yeah. Like, where I grew up, it was always still day of. But there would be, like, I don't know, like, stuff going on. Like, I'm trying to think of an example, and I have none. <laughs> like, maybe the school would put something on over the weekend? I don't know. Yeah. A reminder that Halloween is mostly an American thing. Then every other country is missing out. <laughs> Renee says, I love it. My kids are old enough where I can be like, go, spread your spooky wings and bug people for candy. <laughs> I think one of the, the, the fun aspects of being a parent with a, a child on Halloween would be you also get candy. Like, I, you can go buy candy. No one's stopping no, you. No, 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 no. I mean, like, because, like, as I, I don't think you want to commit to that. That's, that's a big commitment. Yeah. But... Your kid having a bag of candy, Sorry. either either getting the stuff that they don't like, or not even that, just like being like, "This one's mine." <laughs> like I want, I want, I want this. Because um, I remember, like as a kid, uh, you know, there were there were certain candies and stuff that I didn't like. Like who would give out like Red Hots to a kid? Like well, it's not that. Candy? So like as an example, as a kid, I did not like coconut. Yeah, so I you hated not like, like mountain almond joy. Yeah. Oh, I loved those. So you know, if if we went if we went to a thing and that's what I got, then my mom was like, "What what you got there?" And my mom like does not. My mom's not a big like candy eater. But she does. She really likes Mounds and Almond Joy. So I would, you know, I'd be like, here you go. And she'd be like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, so everyone's got a little something that they like. I never liked bubble gum. Really? I don't like gum in general. Really? I don't like bubble gum. It's not even as a kid. Mm -mm. Bubble gum was a weird thing for me because uh, I feel like there's a particular part of childhood where like a lot of people are like... There's a, there's a particular part of childhood that's very gum-centric. Not for me. It was like I felt that way. I felt that way in a, in, a, in, a, in a big way. I don't like elementary school, maybe. Um, there's a lot of people I knew that like chewed gum and like I never loved it, but I wanted what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to blow bubbles. Oh, I couldn't do that either. But also I found it disgusting. Oh. Uh. Well, Hi, are you being too cute? I would chew. I would chew gum specifically to blow bubbles because that was like a fun thing. Because you're easily amused when you're a child. Um, but otherwise, I didn't. I didn't care much for for gum. And and to, I haven't had gum in oh my god many many years. And I feel like if I did, it my teeth would scream. I feel like it would be bad. Will it hurt? Because you know, sometimes I'll have caramel, and yeah. it's like the the most painful thing in the world. There's no pain on this earth worse than like eating caramels, because I've got the sensitive teeth. I guess gum's not super sweet though. No. It's just the chewy Sticky. part. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Maybe I'd be okay. We had 41 months from Maya Rails, and 31 months from Kitswaki Randy. Thank you. Also, 100 bits from Nightwing. Appreciate it. Taking it easy. Tested positive for COVID. Good vibes. Good vibes. Hope you get to just relax. You should ask your dentist about solving this sensitivity thing. I I have. 
there there's not there's not a good solution unfortunately i've had i've had the conversation with them before yeah um a lot of my i use send yeah because like i have very strong gum opinions that can make you a tier list um yeah i you can't just it's it's gum erosion like my nerves are exposed so I have used Sensodyne toothpaste exclusively for like five years. Um, so that's like, I'm on it. I'm, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, my, my whole issue was that I brushed my teeth aggressively. And then I had the, the gums went away and then it's just nerves. And then uh, there are certain times with certain foods that it touches the nerves. And then my brain screams. <sighs> Haley said, yes, you did. And it scared all of us. And you were like, it's fine. Oh, Haley, it was a problem long before you ever saw me doing it. I've gotten gentler, but like it was, I was screwed in like high school. I don't know. I guess no one ever saw me brushing my teeth and was like, that boy should be less aggressive. I didn't know how hard to, to do it. Wow. Hmm. Haley says, watching Stephen brush during that time was a horror film and we absolutely said this is a problem. I got a uh, an electric toothbrush. I know, eventually. You know the the worst part of my experience has been mm -hmm. is because we've moved so much. You know, I've went to like different dentists and stuff. When different dentists have seen like the the gum erosion and stuff, they're like they're like now what we would recommend is a uh, electric toothbrush. And I'm like I use an electric toothbrush, and they're like, hmm. <laughs> Uh. Can you hand me my coffee? I can. It got better. Got work. Electric two powers make it worse unless it has a sensor. Ours actually does have a sensor. I've never activated it. It's never it's never went off. Have and you tried? No, because I know I know how to brush my teeth now. You know, it took me like twenty years. Like, I figured it out. I figured out you can be more gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I spy moose. That is a lot. That's a lot to read. Oof. Mine, mine hasn't been that bad. Just pain. Just, just pain. <laughs> Anyway, solidarity, because, uh, yeah, it sucks. It's not... And the thing is, the thing that's weird about it is that sometimes it's fine. Sometimes it's know. fine. I eat, like, caramel or something, and I'm, like, just real careful. And sometimes it's fine. And then other times, not fine. We three to bits some tricky anthony. It says, cactus update. He is about three pounds now. My other two cats, you and Magnolia, are still adjusting to him, but nobody has gotten into any fights. Good. That's good. Some cats, uh, don't get along. Yeah. Like, despite years together. Mm-hmm. I know people, uh, who have animals that, um, their cats have lived together for a decade and they fight. And I'm like, okay. Glad I have friends around to scream at me. Life is better with screaming friends. It just takes a bit sometimes for that to stick. Yeah. Like sometimes a long time. Yeah. Sometimes a really long time. A very long time. Oh, I like this song. Like, I'm going to physical therapy? 
Mm-hmm. You got a dentist? Oh, I yeah, I did. I got a dentist. Mm -hmm. We haven't had a dentist since we moved to North Carolina. And the other day, someone was talking about dentists. Dan? I don't know. Somebody. And I was like, I was like, we don't have a dentist. I was like, we should have a dentist. We've so just you never, did it. we've just never done it, and uh, so I did it. I mean, I, I got your help first because I, you, Mal has the insurance login stuff, so she was able to find out who was applicable, and then I called and set it all up, and boom, done, Dennis, adulting. But also, and I think a lot of people can relate to this feeling of like. Sometimes there, there's certain activities in your life which require a, a set amount of executive function. Mm -hmm. And there has to be a, 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 a combination of like that amount of executive function and thinking about it. And if those things do not match up, it just doesn't occur. <coughs> there's other things that like have to get done that I like, this has got to get done. So I like focus on the things that have to get done. And then occasionally I'll think about something like, we need a dentist, but I'm like, ah, that requires this much executive function, and I have this much today. And I just don't. It's fine. We got it done. Yeah. We got it done. Here to bit some cheese hammer says, just a reminder that if you ever want to just be done with your teeth completely, I'm around to help with that. Free of charge for any of the Raleigh cult. That'd be a fun stream. Let's get off the subject of that. <laughs> what would you like to talk about? Kepi has a vet appointment. He doesn't know. From, from, from... Teeth. <laughs> Dentist of vets. Yeah, yeah from, from one medical thing to another. He is in a ball today. He must be real cold. It was cold in the house. Yeah, it was cold in the house. Hopefully it'll warm up. <coughs> Bless you. I'm curious about that. I Spy Moose says, is anyone dressing up for Halloween? I would like to know. I still have my butterfly wings from a few years ago. Haley, it was very funny. <laughs> Just so you know. A butterfly? I want to know. I want to know if people are are dressing up and what they are dressing up as. Maddie wants to go as Ken. Dexter wants to be a ketchup bottle. That's good. <laughs> we were planning to hopefully maybe do a costume, but there was not enough time. No. Hello, kitty. Gender bent where's Waldo? Coffee. Oh, that's a cool costume. Love it says my wife and I are going as Daft Punk. Let me set this down. Thank you. It would be fun to do something like that, but the combination. Haley, I know. The comp the combination of um like not having a lot of Yeah time around Halloween because we're so busy with extra life. Uh-huh. And then like just so many things happening throughout the year makes yeah. it difficult, I think. But we will probably I mean I don't want to speak for our group, but we will probably do something for Halloween. I would suspect. I don't know if we'll dress up. Or if we do, it'll be extremely last minute, which which is fun. Honestly, that's fun on its own. Is we to just be just like, like watch movies. We watch a, a horror film. Yeah, I'll have everyone over because we're all gonna be exhausted anyway, and you know what we do? Our out of town people will have just left. Um, sorry, I need to know. It's a Tuesday. 
Halloween is a Tuesday. Uh-huh. Yeah, we will... Everyone will be gone. That's sad. Thomas will be gone. Chaz and Jeff will be gone. Mm -hmm. Lindsay will be gone. Yeah. Everyone will be gone. Everyone will be gone, and then everyone will be very tired. Yes. Thomas is speaking of horror. Wait, because I mentioned your name? Oh, no. No, he's Skin talking about Sorry. Yeah. My, my scariest friend, Thomas. Thomas is... We're not streaming today. This is it. It's aside from this, because I did uh, Starfield on Monday. Uh, oh, I did Starfield on Monday, and then I scheduled the VOD for today at 1 p.m., which is usually when the stream happens. So if someone missed the stream, they can watch the VOD at 1, and it'll be like they're watching the stream. That's neat. Anyway, tonight, though, Thomas is... Um, what time, Thomas? Thomas is doing a stream where he watches Skinamarink. You don't get to watch Skinamarink because that would be breaking the law. But uh, he Nine. will watch it. 9 p.m. Eastern, you can watch Thomas watch Skinamarink. And then I guess if you wanted to watch it with him, you could, like, pull it up on the internet. Renee says that you can watch along on Hulu. <laughs> Help! I've been Skinamarinked! He will hate it, you will love it. I don't think I've ever seen anyone react so strongly to horror as, as Thomas Jonte. Because, like, Thomas... I watched Thomas play through both Resident Evil 7 and 8. Uh, I didn't watch all of 8. I saw most of 8, but I saw all of 7. And man, he just, he is afraid. He is like a, 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 a scared person. What's the one out in the woods with the family? 7. Is that 7? Yeah. My favorite part was on the very first episode when he, or streamed 7. The very first time he like turned and he got scared by his shadow on the wall. That was my favorite part out of like, it is, all of it. It is something beautiful. It is really wonderful to, to see. Um, so yeah, if you're not doing anything tonight and you want to watch either a movie with Thomas or you just want to watch him watch a movie and him go, ah, um, do it. My, my October 5th vlog was inspired by Thomas because there was a time, I, t I probably talked about this like last week, but I was on Discord, and I had my phone up here, and the hallway was dark, and he was like, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Thomas says, I was scared of my hand, a shadow, a bird. See, I don't find that hallway scary, because there's that's where all the windows are, so it's light. I mean, I feel like if it was darker, it would be... Famously at night, the windows don't work. Well, there's street lights. There's a little bit of light coming in. Anyway, I, li I like I like uh, scary movies because um, they evoke uh, certain emotions. It's fun. Anyway, I hope we get a chance to watch a scary movie during Halloween. That would be fun. That would be a that'd be a good time. I'd really enjoy that. So, if if that's cool, then yeah, we'll go over to Alex and Haley's and hand out treats and watch something. We should watch like a classic. Because I don't know that any everyone's even seen like a classic. Like um, The Shining? I'm The Shining's not a horror movie. It's scary. The Shining's not The Shining, I'm saying it now. The Shining is not a horror movie. Uh, yeah, The Shining's not that scary. It's not a horror movie. Like, I'm sorry if it scared you, but that does not make it a horror movie. No. The Shining is a thriller. I'm not going to say that it doesn't have parts in it that will scare. Like it can scare you. Yeah. You can be scared. You know, it. You can. You could watch Finding Nemo and find part of it scary, right? But like, it's. Mm, that's not. That's not. Could you take this cat? Is he too warm? Um, no, I'm thinking I might go get a slice of bread or something. <gasps> Come here. Come here of your own volition. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
want to see if you can do it. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can we come over here? Come here. 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 Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Over here. Over here. Come here. Come here. Right 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 here. You move. 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 Bye. Hi. Oh, his fur is all messed up. Oh. I'll, I'll fix him. I'll fix him. I'll fix him. I'll fix him. All right. I'm gonna get a piece of bread. Okay. He good boy. Uh, we got 300 bits of ampersand queen. Says, can I ask for good vibes? Last night when backing into my driveway, I hit the downstairs downstairs neighbor's cat, and while he was fairly chill about the whole thing, I feel incredibly guilty and upset about it. Hopefully, hopefully, uh, one next time I'll have uh, good news to share for once. Good vibes. It sounds like the cat's okay. Um. Oh, you said car, car, car. I was like, man, you hit the cat and the cat's okay. It says car. Car. I read that and my mind's like, you must not have been going very fast if the cat is, <laughs> it says car. It says car. Yeah, that's not this. In fairness, in fairness, when we were designing, when we were, <laughs> when we, we were deciding the the letters R and T, we made them look very similar. Sorry. Last night, when backing into my driveway, I hit the downstairs neighbor's car. And while he, the neighbor, was fairly chill about the whole thing, I feel incredibly guilty and upset about. It. Okay, sorry. I now. I got there. Good vibes. Good vibes. I'm glad that your neighbor was chill about it, though, because, like, the, the alternative is that the neighbor, like, flips out. So, um, I'm glad that that went well. But still good vibes, because it sucks. It sucks whenever, whenever something happens and you, like, if you do something and you're like, crap, I did a thing. I get it. That, that sucks and that feels bad. So, hopefully everything stays a-okay with that neighbor. Uh, I need to make sure I read. <laughs> read. Reading. Reading. We had 37 months from Advil Melon. Appreciate it. And Swiffer Sweeper says that. Sweating. Like I think I think I'm nervous. Swift for sweet persist, may I humbly request that you mention the new extra life art hashtag for those who have not heard it, don't think it's all that well known. It's true. Um, there is a new hashtag for extra life art this year. And it is just hashtag George Extra Life. And the reason that we're doing that is because um, as Extra Life moves forward in time, there's a higher probability that we'll be including multiple consoles. So instead of it being like, this is the GCN Extra Life, or this is the Wii Extra Life, like more and more, Extra Life's probably just going to be an amalgamation of, of systems. <clears throat> so with that in mind, uh, we're just doing George Extra Life, because then we just have one hashtag to rule them all. So if you're making art and you're posting it onto the internet, uh, try and use that one. I'm sure that to some extent the mods will be looking at old hashtag stuff, but there is a chance that your stuff will be missed if you don't use the new one. So try and use the new one if you can. 
yeah. Also, the 1600 bits came from Dishnet 34. Thank you, Dishnet. Also, what a good time to remind everyone that Extra Life is in 16 days. If you missed the beginning of the stream, you got 16 days. I never cleaned my glasses. 16 days! 16 days. Uh, I am told... I am told that we will be getting our shirts, our Extra Life shirts for the team, like, today or tomorrow? Really soon. Um... And that, Chaz probably is interested in this update, actually, because Chaz even was like, where are the shirts? Um, <laughs> they, uh, they lost... Well, they didn't lose the shirts. I had, I had put in a request with them, uh, like, two months ago or something, and was like, hey, uh, Extra Life's coming up. Um, we, have, we have a lot of people. It's like, can, can we get shirts? And they're like, absolutely, no problem. And I was like, cool. And I was like, here's the address, and here's the shirts we need. And they're like, cool. And then like, just didn't hear anything. And they were reaching out and they're like, did you get the shirts? And I'm like, no. And they're like, hmm. They're like, we sent it to the fulfillment team, but you haven't gotten the shirts. I was like, yeah, it's weird. So then yesterday, was it yesterday? Something, yesterday, the day before, I was like, man, we're like less than three weeks out. So I send another message and I was like, I still have the shirts. And they're like, yeah, they're like, the shirts just came back. And I was like, oh, they're like, the fulfillment team put the wrong address on it. And it went to a address that doesn't exist. And then it came back to us. And I was like, oh, and they're like, yeah, so we're going to overnight shirts to you to make sure that you have them by the event. And I was like. Uh, the Extra Life people are really good. Like, really, really good at, uh, at their, at their, their, their jobs and, like, making sure that everything, like, goes well. I know that the shirt, this is a bad example, because I'm like, the shirt fulfillment team <laughs> did, did a bad. But, like, that's, this is a very small example, because otherwise, like, interacting with the folks who are, um, you know, in charge of, like, the higher level extra life stuff and, like, helping us do whatever it is we need to do. Like, they're incredible. Um, and how quickly they react and respond to stuff and are just very, like, hey, do you need anything? Let us know if you need anything. I don't even know what I would need. <laughs> just, like, there's very few things that I, that I like, hope to have. It's like, you know, it's nice to have matching shirts because it, it feels more fun for the event. Yeah, I agree. I think that that's nice, and I appreciate that they'll do that for us. And then the other thing that I I request is if they can, like, talk to Twitch on behalf of, like, the, the charity and be like, hey, can you get the stream onto the front page during the event? Like, that's great, because that helps the event. Um, and that's it. Like, and they've always been like, if there's anything else you need, and I'm like, I don't know what else I would need. Mm-hmm. Like, if they have suggestions, like... Yeah. I don't know. Haley says, I just like wearing matching outfits with my family. Actually, there was a suggestion they made. Hmm. Were you in the email chain? You are in the email I'm chain. I'm in some of the... You're in some of the email chains. Um, yeah, there's a... Uh, they let me know yesterday, or the day before, they said that um, because anyone who has ever sent... Mm. Like, anyone who has ever yeah, sent that email chain. a donation to Extra Life, mm -hmm. or at least in the last like ten years or something, I don't know if they have the first few years on file, but anyone that sent a a, a, a donation in the last however many years, um, they said, with your permission, we will contact them. We'll send them an email and just let them know, hey, Stevens Extra Life 2023 is coming up. This is the date. Here's the URL, etc. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, that's you that seems back? totally fine. So yeah. if you get an email, uh, like, so if you submit, if you've ever donated to Extra Life, um, you may get an email soon. And it's 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 just gonna be like one email. I know Steven signed us up for emails. 
Um, I figured it was okay to send one email because people that watch the event typically like the event. And the thing is, if someone for whatever reason, like if the YouTube out, al if the YouTube algorithm's just not kind to them for a little bit, and it doesn't show them our stuff for like two weeks, that two week period might be when we're pushing Extra Life the hardest, and it's you could miss the event. Like it's it's a possibility. So I thought that that would be nice. So um, that should be helpful. Yeah. So there, that, that'll go out at some point. I don't know when. Yeah. Steven, Steven sends chain emails. Just one. Just one. As a treat to the children. That's it. Just the one. Uh, 300 bits from Summer Sanchez says, Today I bought my first ever car. Not cat. I don't actually have my license yet. I don't have my license for this cat. But hopefully soon. In dollars, I think the price was somewhere around 15 grand, and that's so much money. Ah! Yes. The $15,000. There's probably $15,000 cats. There probably cats. are $15,000 cats. I don't know what they are. There's definitely $15,000 dogs, so there's probably $15,000 cats. Some sort of, like, wildcat domestic hybrid. Like a Savannah mix? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. Savannahs are much cheaper than that. I think mm -hmm. Savannahs are, like, two grand, but I'm sure they get higher depending on... Well, it's, the, the whole thing with Savannahs is that it the price is dependent on how much Serval is in them. So the more wildcat they are, the more expensive they are. Mm -hmm. They're neat cats. They're cool. They're really cool cats. But also, there is a part of me that's like, do I want my cat to be able to kill me? Anyway. Anyway. Uh, where was I? This was not even about a cat. This is about a car. <laughs> Congrats on the car, and uh, good luck with the license, too. Hope that goes, um, hope that goes well. <laughs> Sorry, Nukes Girl said, uh, a share a cat, $125,000, African Serval, an Asian leopard cat, and a domestic house cat. That's an expensive kitty. The more feral the car, the better. <laughs> I was I was reading that too. Oh, Google's listing F1 Savannahs anywhere from twelve thousand to fifty thousand. Jeebus. So yeah, there's an F scale for the Savannahs. F1 is the wild ones, and F5 is the. They have more domestic cat in them. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. See, there's like. <laughs> Formula One cats. There's <laughs> meow. <laughs> Based on how he runs sometimes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's... <laughs> There's it, some breeds of cats I think would be neat. Like, Rexes I think are cool. Um, mm -hmm. Like, a Russian Blue is really cool, but... Yeah. You know, he's been great. We just went We just went to uh, the, the place. Mm -hmm. The place where ha they have cats. They had him. Just yeah, just a bunch of just a bunch of mutts. Just a bunch of mutts. Yeah, I I'm I'm also in the camp of um, you know adopting animals that need homes. I think that that's important. But also I I I won't. I'm not going to judge anyone for not doing that. And also I will absolutely acknowledge that like a big cat is really cool. Like I've seen videos and stuff online of um of savannas and I'm like that's just really neat because yeah. that's a cat but just more of it and there's a there's a little there, there's a little fear in the fact that like that that cat is huge I mean they can they can get up on it because cats can I don't know if you know this cats can climb things they can jump on top of, of things a, a savannah can just get on whatever it wants. Like, there's nothing stopping it from doing anything. But uh, the idea of, like, oh, I'm going to go walk the cat is just a funny a funny thing. I've been amused because um, Alex and Haley have a dog. 
I'm also amused by that. In the last oh, year, sorry. whenever like Alex is around Kepler, he'll be like, oh, he can do this thing that Laika can't do. Yes, there's been a... It's like he's discovering Cat. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, I, I think if, if you don't spend a lot of time around cats, mm -hmm. or any animal, really, it's like your perception of what that animal is is just different. Yeah. You have to spend time around an animal before you're like, oh, look at this. Neat. Um, because I think a lot of times for cats specifically, people kind of think of them as furniture. They just, they just are, you know, they're just like... A wild like, animal in the house doing its thing. Well, I mean, but like, just like, they just sit. You know, people are like, oh, well, cats just sit. They sit, and they hiss. Liberty says, as a fellow dog exclusive owner, cats are weird and wild to be around. See, even though I grew up, like, with a dog, I feel that way around dogs. Mm. I can read a cat's body language and understand it, but like a dog, sometimes I'm like, yeah, like Haley I, will be like, oh, Laika feels this way. And like, I know she's right, but like. You don't know how she got to that conclusion. Yes. Yeah. I, I feel, I feel the same way. I, <clears throat> I understand cats in a big way. Mm -hmm. um, I like dogs in or my, all my experiences have been that dogs really like me, but I don't, I don't know a whole lot about dogs. Mm -hmm. I haven't spent a lot of time in my life around dogs because gr growing up, most of my friends had cats. So like, I, I had a cat at home, and then whenever I would go somewhere, I would be around the cats. Yeah, Everyone all my had friends cats. had dogs. Oh, yeah. Well. Like my group of four, like Lindsay, Nicole, and Stephanie, and me, yeah. we all had dogs. And then I had, you know, my cats at my dad's house. Jess says, what is a dog? Scientists still aren't sure. He's, do you hear him? Yeah. He's just making all sorts of noises this morning. Gurgle, gurgle. Put your little head down. Rest your little noggin. He's just kind of like grumbling. Like, <laughs> Haley says, most people are wrong about dog body language, to be honest. And Haley took dog body language classes to better understand dog. See, I think I would enjoy fostering kittens a lot. <sighs> yeah, I bet you would. I And the thing is, I know I would too. Yeah. Um, and every time we talk about this, we have to immediately clarify we are not getting kittens. Because no. then people are like, you can get a kitten. We can't get a kitten. No. Kepler is not compatible with kittens. Full stop. That's the end of that. Um, but someday in the far off future, I know that you would like to foster kids. They are, they are cute. They are cute. They're a handful. They are a real handful. And they get worse. <laughs> yeah, they're a lot for they like... They, they they get worse. Two years, they're a lot. Because like when they're, when they're real... When they're real small, they're... They're, they're at least cute, small. <laughs> but they're small, right? Um, the problem is they get bigger, and then they have all the same energy, but they can get to anything. Like, anything. And that's that's yeah. the teenage years are the hard ones, I think. Yeah. Once, once Kep and Sagan hit, like, age three... Two or three, yeah. They were just like, eh, boom. Yeah. They just calmed down immediately, and then... And then it was <laughs> then life with cats is much easier. <laughs> but the first like three years are oof. Yeah. It's a lot. I actually I have very strong memories of um, you uh, going to work. Work, and me being in the apartment with the cats alone, and them just like hauling tail through the apartment like full speed while I'm trying to like record Skyrim or whatever and like it was a lot it was a lot like it it oof, the, the I mean they're super cute but I would have to like try and get them worn out mm -hmm. so they would fall asleep so I could like record things I you know they're 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 cute but I don't necessarily miss that I remember part. us like kind of being very upset one night and being like, "Oh my God, when are they going to calm down?" Yeah, it was it was a lot. 
He says, I remember that time for you guys, and it was bad. I remember tears. Oh, yeah, because, like, they're super cute, but also we work from home. Well, I, at the time, worked from home, and, like, It's hard. It's really hard. I actually remember one very specific instance that was very difficult. Was um, I was on the podcast. What is the podcast called? I don't know. It's the one that Total Biscuit did. Uh, Total Biscuit and Dodger and Jesse Cox. Um, TGS. Is that what it was? Co-optional. Yeah, the co-optional podcast. Oh, that one. I was on the co-optional podcast. Um, like a million years ago, a million, million years ago. And it was me and another guest. And, um, I think who was gone that day? Dodger. So is it like me and me and TB and Jesse Cox and then another guy. And we had only had the kittens for like a month. Like they were very young. They were very new to the house. And I was trying to do this podcast that had face cam while also desperately trying to keep the cats from destroying, destroying something, everything. Yeah. yeah. That was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. That was 11 years ago. Vagabond found it. Episode 25? I guess. I don't know. It was um, a long time ago. I remember... Uh, the only thing I remember from that podcast, aside from the cats, dude, September 2012, that was the month we got them. Yeah, because we got them coming back from PAX from that PAX. year. So I would have only have had the cats for probably a few days, if not a few, like, two weeks. They were super new. Goodness. Um, I mean, we probably recorded that a little bit early, but not much. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I remember, aside from the cats being crazy in that, was that... Um, I remember not talking a whole lot, and it was because we discussed so many games that, like... Oh, you didn't know anything? They were, yeah, well, they were, we were you hadn't played? We were discussing, like, PC games and hmm. stuff, and I'm like... I'm like, yeah, I just, I'm just playing, like, Toe Jam and Earl. Like, it's, it's, it's a hard thing to... Hard thing to do. Uh, we have uh, 300 bits from Gamer Girl Life. It says, I just wanted to thank you both for the good vibes. My mental health has been improving. Glad to hear that. Excellent. Excellent. It's a it's a constant I think it's a constant thing. It's not like, ah, I've solved you know, I've solved my mental health. It's always it's there's always gonna be an up and down. But um if you if you feel like overall looking at a big picture, you're on an upward trajectory. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's what you always want to be aiming for. Uh, we got two months from Oscar VT. And 300 Bits from Cosmic Sorrel says, I feel that the kitten stage never truly ends. My boys will be five next month, and they still tear through the house every morning. Every morning. I mean... Well, when you have two, they definitely feed on each other like that. Yeah. Like, Kepler still kind of um, does that, but it's rare. It is rare. Like, he did it the other night at 2.30. <laughs> and I, I had just... It was... I finally moved upstairs and slept, like, in our bedroom. For two nights, and <laughs> yeah, the, first, two nights. the first night, Kepler just ran through there, and I was just giggling, and yeah, I think I was trying to be quiet, because I wasn't sure if you were asleep. Yeah, and so... And you were like, are you laughing? <laughs> well, what happened What what happened is that um, once you moved to downstairs, uh -huh. he started doing that. So, I, <laughs> so there's at least a few nights a week, since Mal's been sleeping downstairs, that the cat will just randomly, like start playing with toys and like running in the bedroom. He normally does not do this, but no. he started doing it like, it's not in the middle of the night, but it's like right after I've like turned the lights off and, and whatever time that is. Yeah. yeah, and he doesn't normally do this. So when Mal moved back upstairs the other night, um, he started doing this and Mal was laughing. And I was like, oh yeah, I was like, he's been doing that since you've been gone. Like he just, he, his, uh, he's got a pickle toy up here full of catnip, and almost every night before bed now, he he gets on the floor, and he gets some big whiffs of that, and he mellows out, and then he gets up and he starts like running as fast as he can. <laughs> I'll pickle your toy. 
Oh. Um, so yeah. Since then, Mal's now went back downstairs. Yeah. And I'm curious if he'll keep doing it or like when he'll stop. I don't know. I'd say he slept with me downstairs like while I've been in recovery, maybe five times. Yeah. I don't know what makes him choose that over like being upstairs with you. I would love to know. I don't know what goes on in this this head. I would love to know what goes on in that cat's head. I know. I would like I would pay so much money to just to just know what his thought process is for certain actions. Yes. I would love to know. There's so many times. And even things like that, as simple as like, you know, Kepler, what makes you decide to you know, sleep upstairs or downstairs. Like, where is that? I don't know. And it might just be as simple as, I'm up here, so I'll lay down. I don't know. But he's cute. He sure is. <laughs> but he's cute. We have 300 bits from the Thunderstriker. It says, I also made a big first time purchase yesterday. I bought an iPhone 15 Pro, much bigger than the big purchase I made 10 years ago, which was Pokemon XY. Sorry for making everyone feel old. Uh, congrats. I hope that you like it. Um, I think I talked about it, but I also uh, got the 15. It seems like a, for video especially, it seems like a huge jump up from the 12. Yeah. And um, yeah, it is, I mean, it is without a doubt the best, like, smartphone video there is so if you like video and the, the photos too it's it's quite quite capable i've still been testing stuff i've been having a lot of fun with it it's been really uh really enjoyable for me i hope i hope folks have largely enjoyed the fact that i'm like <coughs> changing Trying little mm -hmm. changing little things here and there you know what's honestly been fun for me shooting uh some of the vlogs in 30 fps again mm. You know, because it's not, people don't choose 60 or 30 because of like, oh, well, I have the power to do 60, yeah. so I'll do 60. Like, it's an aesthetic. It's, it changes what a, a video feels like. Mm -hmm. It's a choice. And going back to 30 is cool, man. That reminds me. I I saw a video someone did of, um, I don't remember the tea company. Some, like, bottled cold tea company made this like clip on to your phone lens and you're supposed to it's like a like there's two glass pieces and you fill it with their tea and you clip it over your phone camera lens and it makes everything look like golden hour uh was it i don't think it was snapple was it is it gold gold leaf gold tea i don't remember what <sighs> i mean the idea of the idea of doing so, God, my hair's long. The idea of doing something to adjust, you know, what your image looks like. Like, yeah, they. So the, the most common thing you can get is um, because there's no iris on smartphones. Uh, Gold peak tea. And you, the only way to make things dark is like by increasing your shutter speed, which is going to make everything look like Saving Private Ryan. You can get. Um, uh, ND filters that clip on, right? So if you clip on an ND filter, then you can keep your shutter speed low and everything looks good in daylight. What in God's name? Do you see it clips onto your phone and you fill it with tea? And then it makes everything look golden hour? Okay. <laughs> okay. You might be able to achieve that by just shifting your your white balance or something but okay that's it's fine you fill it with what the tea like it's a neat idea it's a fun it you know what's fun for me is that someone at gold peak is clearly like into cameras and was like yeah. this would be fun and stupid let's let's do this and like that's fair that's totally fair that's good for them it's just a weird it's just You scared the cat. <laughs> it's 
Steven, I don't know how to shift my white balance. Phones don't like you messing with white balance, though. <laughs> Tell us about white balance, Steven. Uh, well, thanks everyone for being here. <laughs> no, no, I'm stop! I'm gonna go <laughs> play <laughs> Persona. <laughs> Steven can stay here no, and no, talk no, about no, cameras no, as no, long no, as Chaz no, no, lets him. No, 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 no. That was 1600 bits from the Slick Duke who says, do you know the horror that is the 16 alert? Yes. I actually know the horror four times today. It's four times it has caused me a commotion. But yes, it has been, it's 16 days until next July. Mm -hmm. We also have 11 months from Aaron the Baron and five months from Beeru. Or Beeru. Probably there. I won't. I won't go into film talk. I won't okay. go into camera talk. Okay. I will say one thing. Yes. One of the adjustments that was made mm -hmm. that I'm blown away. It took this long to do, and I don't even know that it's. I don't think it's an update that's like being trickled back down to old iPhones. Maybe it will be. I don't know. But at least in the 15, mm -hmm. in the default camera app. There is now uh, a setting, of course buried in like the settings app of the phone, to lock white balance when you hit record. What a very basic thing, but yes, finally, you can lock white balance while you record. So whenever you are like, you know, Chill Jay says, I swear it's getting longer. I agree. Sometimes I swear it's longer. That felt like a longer one. So when so when you record, your white balance doesn't shift. You Oh, by the way, you can do that, though. Like, if you're an iPhone user, I'm sure Android does something similar, or maybe they have a dedicated button for it because they're not animals. Um, on the iPhone... If you if you're using the the normal camera app and your video you're filming something, if you press and hold, and it does the little like golden box, the bracket, mm -hmm. that locks your exposure, it locks your focus, but it also locks your white balance, so your white balance will not possibly shift. That being said, if you're in a room that has the same white balance, like the iPhone generally does a pretty good job of keeping it the same anyway. That was 1600 from Genesis. It says, oh, sorry, did someone say iPhone 16? No, you're, you're too early. You're, you're too early. God, okay. Here's, here's this. <laughs> we have to talk about extra life. Mm-hmm. It's in 16 days. It is. Let me put this under here so it doesn't appear. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Let's look at our totals. Uh, our Barnyard. totals. Barnyard. 1250. Mario Party 4. 1015. Freddy Fish. 1000. Mario Super Suggers. 550. Poyo Pop. 405. Speed Zone. 300. Digimon World 4. 250. I think it's the same. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, this feels familiar. Jess says, it is unchanged since Tuesday. This is the current... I'm most excited thing. for Mario Party 4 and Puyo Pop Fever. I need to make sure I know where the GameCube memory card is. Yes, you do. As that has... Am I still practicing? I need to. That ha the memory the Zeta. memory card has the thing, so the the saves the saves for like Mario Party mm -hmm. Four. It's probably in a GameCube. Maybe, maybe it's in the drawer with the GameCube. That's stuff. the other place. Mm -hmm. I found some. I've the other day when I went through all the Game Boy stuff, I mm -hmm. found memory cards. Yeah, I found mem memory cards for. Uh, N64, memory cards for GCN, memory cards for um, PlayStation 1. Like, mm -hmm. I found just a bunch of memory cards 
but I don't think that's my main GameCube memory card. Yeah. Because in preparation for the first GameCube Extra Life we ever had, I bought um, the big one, like the OEM big one, whatever it is, 1024? The OEM big one. That was what it said on the packaging. Anyway. Ah, oh, you're such a big cat. Renee, no. <laughs> what art will be on those memory cards? You know, I no one will believe me, and that's fine. But I am going to stick to Haley's belief, which was that Haley is the one that drew those. So I'm going to I'm going to claim my innocence. I mean, that's what she claimed. I know. Yeah, that's not like, you putting that on her. She said that. I know. She's the one that claimed that, and I'm like. And listen, I've seen I've seen I've seen I've seen her draw them. <laughs> An Animal Crossing. Do you have any idea how difficult it was to make those Animal Crossing videos when Haley was around and at any minute would just, like, change her clothes to be nude? It didn't make for the, the easiest recording environment. Especially there would be times, like, in the things, they were cut from the video, but, like, she would just, she would be nude and then just chase me around to try and be on camera. And I'm like... I'm like, please, I'm, like, running. And she's, she's, like... Ray Stevens in the streak, just like going as fast as she can. I'm like, you can't do this. <sighs> Bagot says, please tell me you still have this footage. We do not still have this footage. Although I guarantee you, you would not have to twist her arm very hard to make her want to redo it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. There's an art. There is an art. Is it a... I knew it! It is, a, it is another Overlord uh, Extra Life art, this time with Epic Yarn. Oh man, we played Epic Yarn. Yes. Oh, and I Extra forgot Life. about that. I did, I forgot about that too. That was good art too. It really hit the stitching aesthetic on that. Uh, and yes, as a reminder, as if you haven't already learned during the stream, we are 16 days away from Extra Life. Mm -hmm. um, that is soon. That is so soon. Looking forward to it as always. <sighs> What's happening? Um, nothing, nothing today. today. Nothing today. The next stream is um, Twilight Princess, not Twilight Princess Tears of the Kingdom. Apparently, we're going to be playing Twilight Princess tomorrow at 8 okay. p.m. Eastern. We cannot play Twilight Princess. We, we, listen, we cannot stop doing Tears of the Kingdom for even a moment. We've got so much Tears of the Kingdom to get through. There's so much. Uh, so we'll be jumping back into that tomorrow night. That's it. There's not really anything else to uh, say. Noah says, no streams, which means it's Persona Day for Mal. That's why I streamed on Tuesday. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What was I doing? Oh, I wanted to tell you. Me? No, 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 no. Well, I mean you too, but I wanted to tell them what was happening on Saturday. Oh, where am I in Persona? I am on the third palace. I just took the treasure and I am waiting for the uh, timeline. T deadline. Sorry, date. I'm so excited about the Saturday Stephen and Friends. Is it golf with your friends? Yes. Which one? Oh, that one. Mm. There's a lot of screaming in that one. There's it was so much screaming. Chaz, Chaz. <laughs> Chaz is truly the worst golf experience you've ever put me through. Chaz at one point asked if if it had been my intention to torture all of my friends <laughs> that night. Chaz, it was just one hole. It was just one hole of golf. It was just one hole, Chaz. How long was that video? A reasonable amount of time. Just one, it was one hole. It was just one hole. <laughs> There's a point where Chaz is like, I'm just gonna get up and go get a drink. It was just one hole. What's what's wrong with just one hole? It was just one hole. Saturday, please watch. Oh my god, it's great. It's just one hole. 
It's just, it's just one hole. <laughs> more than one point, more than one trick. <laughs> it's just one hole. All right. Uh, otherwise, that's it. Let me jump over into Steven Vlog and I'll release a vlog for you. And you can go watch that. And if you somehow missed the one from yesterday, Jalapeno Poppers, that's also out. Do 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 Uh, publish, public, public save. Good job. It's out. This vlog is entitled Egg Sandwich. It's about me making an egg sandwich. I love it. I mean, like, the thing is, if, you, if you're if you unfamiliar mm -hmm. with what I do, then you'd be like, why? Yeah. But if you... Did you make it wrong? But if you know me, if you know the content I make, it's just like super par for the course. No, I think you'll 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 like it. It's not. It's scrambled. It's scrambled. But I I uh, you know, I didn't I didn't make it wet. Yeah, it's but for the a eggs sandwich. are not brown. Yeah, it's because I didn't ruin the sandwich. <laughs> Anyway, uh, go watch that. That's out. Go watch that. Um, no other streams for today. Because I already did Starfield, so I'm just going to be working on stuff today. I, I got so much done yesterday, it felt very good. I, I got a lot of tasks done. I had a lot of like tasks that needed to be accomplished, mm -hmm. and I got them done, and it felt great. It honestly felt great. So... <laughs> Jazz, holy cow, this is a lot of butter. Um, yeah. Sorry, Jazz. I like things to taste good. <laughs> and the thing is, normally, and this is true, normally when I make, um, when I make scrambled eggs, I actually don't even use butter. I'll just use, I'll just use like some vegetable oil or whatever. Um, if I'm making eggs for someone else, I will use butter because I'm like, well, It'll be better. Mm -hmm. you know, I want them to taste good. But yeah, there's there's a fair bit of butter in this video. I don't care. I don't care. All right, that's it. <laughs> Steven fights his cholesterol pill. I'm winning. No, wait, no, wait. The cholesterol pill is winning. <laughs> Forgot which team I was on. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> at my last, at my last checkup, they did the blood. They did the blood. They did the blood. They and my blood, blood. They took it from me, <laughs> and it was okay. Everything was good. All things were okay. I will get checked again. And I think it'll be okay. But I'm taking I, I'm taking my pills. I'm taking my pills. I do not consume an abnormal amount of cholesterol. A normal human amount. I just I just unfortunately for me happen to video when I'm consuming cholesterol, <laughs> which can lead some people to think that that's all I eat. I, I eat more than that. Okay, watch the vlog. That's it. Have <laughs> you yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow for Zelda Twilight Princess. <laughs>